Welcome back guys. Got another video on our path to the 24 hour run. Week one is down. Let's go over how it went. Day one ran the tie line trail. If you miss that video, I'll put it up here so you can click on that and get caught up and then come back and uh, watch video two. So here we go. Sunday, day two, I was at the house. I did a 50 minute recovery run after my long run to train on tired legs. I tried to stay in my zone two, which is around 10, 23 to 12, 13 per mile pace average. Throughout the run, I maintained about 11.38, so felt good. Felt really good running, felt good afterwards. Monday, took a rest day. Tuesday, day three, did a 59 minutes total, five minute warm up, 20 minutes steady pace, and then I switched over to interval running, slowing down and speeding up every two minutes. Maintained eight. 49 pace over the course this was a challenging run for me very tired afterwards but overall felt really good tired but good real quick if you're enjoying the video I'd ask that you click that like button it really helps out the channel and if you want to see more of these videos hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything coming up Wednesday, day four, I got on the bike, needed to do a little uh, low impact, give my legs and knees a break. I rode 16 miles, trying to pick up the pace to raise my heart rate. I uh, struggled to maintain the higher heart rate. I think I was a little more tired from the Tuesday run than I thought, so picking up the pace on the bike was a little harder. Day five, Thursday back to the run did 70 minutes total tried to maintain that 60 minutes in zone two so everything i've read and uh, been trying to keep up with it says the uh, 80 20 is the rule so 80 percent of your week should be in zone two the other 20 percent in the other zones overall I felt really good this week. I was a little worried going into it. Stepping up the mileage, the back-to-back -back days had me concerned on uh, how my body would react. Ended up being a great confidence booster, though. Making sure that I stretched before, after, and even while I was just at the house really helped out, I feel, with the recovery. Maintaining my hydration throughout also and I really tried to concentrate on staying on pace and keeping my heart rate where it needs to be for the correct zones. Sometimes I would feel really good and had to make myself slow down, or I would speed up when I felt tired. The real game changer I feel for me this week, and where all the data and the pictures of the slides that I'm putting up where all this came from was from the Koros app. I purchased the Koros Apex 2 Pro watch. This is my first real fitness watch in this category, I guess. But for me, it's been a great uh, training tool. And if you're in the market for a fitness watch, I would recommend it. This weekend, I have two runs planned, a long run on Saturday and a recovery run on Sunday. The Saturday run, I'll be working on using some gels during the run and really I want to see how my body reacts and um, along with drinking water to stay hydrated while I'm using these energy gels but I will update you after this weekend on how everything goes also next weekend May 4th I'll be running the Noose River Bridge Run Half Marathon in New Bern North Carolina so I'll be keeping some mental notes and try to get some video of that race and how everything went again if you like what you're watching hit that like button subscribe so you don't miss anything and thanks for watching i'll see you guys at the finish line